All right, Shalom. First and foremost, call Laim La, Abinawa, Alahayanawa, Yahawa, Bahashem Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone, time of this truth, through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom. All right, America is Babylon the Great, according to prophecy, and will be destroyed by fire. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. And I will say this, that our people have been scattered through the four corners of the earth and can't come up looking like a heathen nation. All right, it's all through the spirit. And lastly, all right, a microchip which they will want to be implanted inside you will be the new way of buying and selling, the new way of exchange, the new way of purchasing. And that is the mark of the beast, that microchip. All right. And it will be mandated slash implemented before who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, who true name is Yahweh Shai, makes his return. All right. And it is the simple lesson. All right. Lord willing is quick. OK, so I typed in the, uh, the search engine missile arrow. All right. Because you brothers, we know that the arrows in the scriptures is, uh, is basically like a disguised missile, man. OK, which we finna get into. So it says arrow Israeli missile. And we know the Israelis. Those are not the real Jews, man. The real Jews will be in captivity in the last days waiting for the Lord to deliver them. All right. And the real Jews is really um the southern kingdom, Benjamin, Judah and Levi. You see, but the, the actual Israelites will be scattered through the four corners of the earth. You see, being oppressed and waiting for the heavenly father to send his son to deliver them, man. OK, they wouldn't be in the Holy Land right now. But I could tell you what prophecy they do fit. Ezekiel, the, um, the 36th chapter, verse 5. Uh, Idumia has appointed my land into their possession. They do, the people in our land are the children of Edom, man. You see? But that's another lesson, all right? So it says the arrow or hetz is a family of anti-ballistic missiles designed to fulfill an Israeli requirement for a missile defense system that will be more effective against ballistic missiles than the MIM-104 Patriot surface-to-air missile. All right, now the point, like I said, I wanted to make that it's called arrow, Okay? Arrow, Israeli missile, the arrow or hetz. You see, now we know, like I said in the scriptures, where we uh, we hear about Babylon being destroyed and that these nations are going to shoot their arrows upon Babylon, man. You see, but that's a cold name for what? These these ICBMs, man, these missiles, man. You see, what you're going to get into, Lord willing. All right, and actually, first scripture we could go to is in the book of Jeremiah, the 50th chapter, verse 29. All right, let's head there. This is Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 29. It says, call together the archers. Now, what? who are archers? If I'm not mistaken, archers are those men, all right, that shoot bow and arrows, man. You see, and really, these nations can be likened unto archers, all right? It says, call together the archers against Babylon, right? These nations, man. The Lord is from the, like the scriptures say, Yahweh by Shema Shai mustered up the host to the battle, roughly paraphrasing, man. You see, the Lord had brought forth what? His weapons of his indignation, man. You see, his uh, his anger, all right? It says, all ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her, uh, recompense her, all right, according to her work, right, man? You see, it says, according to all that she had done, do unto her, for she had been proud against the Lord, Yahweh by Shemal Rashi, Against the Holy One of Israel, right, man? And America has been proud, being ruled by who? The nation of Edom. And we know what the scriptures say about Edom. Uh, the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, man. You see? So, hey, the Lord is going to have these nations shoot their arrows, which is symbolic for these missiles, upon uh, America, which is Babylon the Great, man. All right? And actually, let's, let's uh, stay in the 50th chapter, but let's go to verse 14, okay? It says, put yourselves in array against Babylon, Round about all ye that bend the bow. You see? Hey, these, these other nations, man. These archers. It says, shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she has sinned against the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem Shai, man. You see, once again, going to what? Bows and archers and arrows, man. You see? Let's drop down. Actually, let's go up to verse 9. It says, for lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations, you see, great nations from the north country. All right, the Lord is going to put uh, his will, all right, into play, basically, man. These, these, uh, these, 
the kings of these nations is going to fulfill the will of Yahweh Hashem Shah. It says, Babylon, all right, let me read again. It said, for lo, I will raise and cause up to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Now, see how the scriptures say, from thence she shall be taken. When you read the, the last the last verse of this same chapter, the scriptures say, at the noise of the taking of Babylon, the earth is moved. Now, what's going to make the earth moved? You see, what's going to make the earth move if these nations are shooting arrows, man? Because these arrows represent these missiles. All right. It says. From thence she shall lock you. All right. I'm going to reread it. It says from thence she shall be taken their arrows. There go them arrows again, man. Shall be as of a mighty expert, man. None shall return in vain, man. You see, and how did the scriptures say Babylon is going to basically be? When we go, when we go to the book of Isaiah, the 13th chapter, let's read this scripture. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse um, verse verse 18. It says, Their bowls also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb, their eyes shall not spare children. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency shall be as when the most high Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, man. You see, so now the scriptures speaking about how these nations are finna shoot arrows upon Babylon, but the scriptures also say how Babylon is gonna be is when the Lord overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And how did the Lord overthrow Sodom and Gomorrah? You read, I think, Genesis, the 19th chapter. If I'm not mistaken, the scriptures say the Lord rained fire upon Sodom and Gomorrah, man. You see, and the same thing is coming to America, but this time it's gonna be by the way of missiles, man. You see? Now you might say, no, those are real arrows. Well, Let's head to the book of 2nd Edges, the 15th chapter. Actually, the 16th chapter. Okay? This is um 2nd Edges, chapter 16. All right? Verse 12. It says, the earth quaketh. All right, what's going to make the earth quake? And the foundation thereof, the sea ariseth up with waves from the deep. You see? It says, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. For strong is this right hand, and we know who the right hand of the Lord is, our Lord Yahweh Shai, that bended the bow. There go that bow again, man. The bow, the archer, the arrows, man. You see, it says, that bended the bow, his arrows, there that key word, them arrows, all right, that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. When they begin to be shot into the ends of the world, man. What arrows you know can shoot into the ends of the world? Well, these missiles, man. You see? Hey, cold name in the scriptures, man. You got a missile, all right? And they got arrow on it. I think that's a missile, right? You see, they got arrow on it. Because these are, hey, these missiles are likened unto arrows. You see? Just like an arrow gets shot into the heavens, basically in the sky, and comes down. And what? It pierces his opponent. All right? Hey, we just read what? The arrows that he shooteth are sharp going into these missiles, man, which get shot into the sky. And actually, let's go get that scripture. Let's head to the book of Isaiah, the 34th chapter. All right? Let's let the scripture speak. This is Isaiah. Chapter 34. Might as well start. Verse 1. It says, Come near ye nations to hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. Right, man. The Lord is going to gather the nations. It said, for the indignation of Yahweh is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. He had utterly destroyed them. He had delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out and their stink shall come up. All right. It says their stink shall come up out of the out of their carcasses and the mountain shall be melted with their blood, man. You see? It says, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved at the heavens. It says, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, man. What's going to make the heavens roll together as a scroll? What is it speaking of, man? This talking about when the missiles drop, boom, you see? Then a huge cloud start gushing up into the air and starts rolling in on itself, man. That's the heavens being departed as a scroll, man. That's the heavens being rolled together as a scroll, that huge mushroom cloud. It says... As the leaf falleth off from the vine and as a falling fig from the fig tree. For my sword, 
What's the Lord swore? You see, the Lord swore is speaking on these missiles, man. These arrows. It said, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. What sword is going to be bathing through the sky, man? You see, what's going to shoot into the sky? These, these arrows, these missiles. It says, behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Because we know what? The Babylon we were reading about in the book of Jeremiah, the 50th chapter is who? The daughter of Babylon. And who is the daughter of Babylon according to Psalms chapter 137, verse 7 through 8? The children of Edom. You see? Because this, this America is the new land of Edom, but it's also Babylon the Great according to prophecy and will be destroyed. It said, Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia, which is Greek way of saying Edom. You see? And upon the people of my curse to judgment. The sword of Yahweh is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh had to sacrifice in Basra in a great slaughter in the land of Idumia, man. You see, let's jot down to verse 8. It says, for it is the day of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh's vengeance. When did this day come? You see, showing you that Esau is still here in end time prophecy. You see? It says, for it is the day of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh's vengeance and the year of recompense for the controversy of Zion, man. You see, this is coming. All right. And actually, it's a precept for verse four. Let me jump up back to verse four. It says, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, which I was explaining. The missiles drop. Boom. You see huge cloud start gushing up into the air and start rolling in on itself, man. That huge mushroom cloud, man, that's the heavens being rolled together as a scroll. And the precept to that is in what? The book of Revelation, the sixth chapter. Let's head there. This is um, Revelation chapter six. Let's, let's, see what, let's see what it says in Revelation chapter six. This is Revelation chapter six, verse 13. It says, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth. And now it was crazy. Because I was looking at a, I think it was a missile video. You see a missile shot up and it had a light. It had a light, but it also had like a trail behind it, like the gas or the smoke, whatever that is. But it looked like a shooting star, man, with a trail behind it. You see what the scriptures is speaking of. It says in the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, man, speaking on the missiles. You see, we just read in what the swore, the, uh, the, the Lord swore shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down. You see, it's going to come down. Or upon who? Idumia. It's going to come down upon the earth. It says, let's read this again. It says, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree. See, it's basically saying the same thing. Even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departeth as a scroll when it is rolled together. It's basically saying the same thing, man. You see, these missiles is going to be shot. These arrows, you see? It says, it says, even as a fig tree cast her untimely fig when she is shaken of a mighty wind, and the heaven shall be rolled together as a scroll. So like the heaven shall, the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. Going back to what? The mushroom cloud, man. You see? The mushroom cloud. It says, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. Now remember in the book of Second Ezra, when we were reading about what? The, the arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the wall. The scriptures say what? The earth quaketh. You see, basically the same thing is sp spoken of right here. It says in every mountain and island were moved out of their places. What's going to cause that, man? The earth to be trembling, the earth to be shaking. You see the earth quaking, the islands and the, and the mountains, they moving out of their places. What's going to cause this, man? These missiles. You see, World War Three. the scriptures say... Let me see, can I go get it, man? In the book of Isaiah. This Isaiah, chapter 9, verse, let me see, let me see. Verse 5, it says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. Right, man? The ancient battles with the shields and the swords, they roar and they, you know, you hear the metal clinging together. You see garments, people, uh, people getting uh, slain on the floor, man. You see the garments drip in blood. You see, those were those wars. But the scriptures say what? It says, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. You see, hey, this is coming, man. All right. So let's read it one more time. It says, and the heaven shall be departed as, it's like you. 
and the heavens shall be departed as the scroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and island will move out of their places, man. You see, hey, this, this is coming, man. All right. So really, that's the point. Okay. Going to uh, these arrows, man. You see? So just a quick video. All right. Lord willing, this video is edifying. All right. I'm in it off. Giving from the praises, honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem HaMashiach, Yahweh Shai by Hashem HaKadosh, that to the elders and apostles, the great Muslim, taught me this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. Peace, blessings, and citations to the whole full elect. Shalom.